What's up, y'all? I have a uh, pretty quick short video that's kind of important for those of you who have uh, glass doorknobs. If you live in older homes from like the 40s to the 60s era, sometimes you would have these glass knobs on your house. Now, nowadays, they are, most of the time, they're like acrylic. Some of them are still glass, like you can get these Ilco replacement doodads and uh you know they're just not as well made as these knobs were made back in the day a lot of uh, areas in certain towns sometimes have uh, like old house type depots where they take salvage stuff these actually these the real deal knobs are made the brass is made a lot better and the uh like the screw retainer everything's just you know as with anything back then they just made stuff better but I do want to talk about one important point of this. Uh, so if you have a house with a bunch of these doorknobs in them uh, and you are, uh, start having trouble with them, there's one thing, one really, really important thing that you need to check on those knobs. And that is to make sure that they have not loosened. Unfortunately, when they do loosen, there's no real coming back from it. You know, somebody out there, I'm sure, is going to have a suggestion or something, uh, some kind of an idea that may work for this. However, we work on quite a few of these. And one of the biggest problems that you have with these is the rosette where it fastens to the glass. When you look at this one that broke off. And uh, basically... As you can see, it's a uh, formed kind of a, a cap thing, and it goes in like so, and then um, at some point, I've never seen the machining done for this, but uh, what happens is it comes in, and then there's like some type of roller, I guess, that crimps this down, and you can see how it has this little, if I can get it off here, uh, carefully, because that's the whole point of this video, is... Um, it is it's dangerous it's very dangerous and you see why because this is glass and what happens is if you find one of them like say this one and if you hold your glass knob right on that metal and you can turn the knob itself that means it's getting loose and if you have a door that sticks and you walk up to this door you know, and you're trying to turn it and it's sticky and you're sitting there turning, turning, turning. What'll happen is this. Now this didn't, this wasn't caused by that, this broken shipment. Uh, however, if it shears off, sometimes, and I've seen it before, I actually have one around here somewhere that has the little glass shard sticking off. So what happens is you're sitting there twisting, 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 and then it decides to break. When you do that and you, as it shears away, those glass shards can slice open your hand. I actually have a, uh, a local who did that with their glass knobs and I call it, um, I, I have a funny name for it, I can't say it because it's the person's name, but I call it the so-and-so effect. And uh, what happened is when that happened, she twisted it really bad, cut her hand all the way across the center, out of work for about two months had to have three surgeries because it cut into some of these nerves in her palm just from trying to twist it was one of these types of knobs so if you have these glass knobs on your house um, it is a good idea to go through and just double check we see this one just hold the hold the metal on it you can do this with it on the door just walk up to the door hold the brass and then turn the knob and make sure that the knob itself is not loose because over time what will happen is they will get loose and then progressively as you turn and turn and turn the doorknob, it'll get looser and looser and eventually break. Now see, this one's just starting. Watch if we hold it. See how that's just starting. So, um, and this also makes it hard to open the door. So when you go and you open the door, you're sitting there twisting, 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 but nothing's happening to the post here so that is a very good indication that your doorknob is not in good shape and we can see this one over here is is not so i'm gonna 
Uh, these have to be shipped out. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna check every one of these. Uh, now, of course, if you walk up to the door and it's twisting, 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 or it completely unscrews, that's gonna be your set screw right there. So that's just a matter of tightening that set screw back down. But as you're doing that, ooh, I need to clean that one. I missed the paint there. Um, but as you, uh, you know, if you have a problem with the knob, you just need to make sure and hold that brass part right there. Make sure it's not twisting on you. And if it is, what I usually recommend, if you have maybe one side that's twisting and not the other, unscrew it, take it off the door. I um, mean, to unscrew it, let me go ahead and point this out real quick while we're talking about it. Basically, to unscrew it, you just undo this... Uh, this set screw right here that needs to be that needs to be fixed too so uh, you would undo the set screw like so just back it out you don't take it all the way out back it out a little bit and the whole thing will unscrew from this shaft so that's how you would take it off and, and i like if you have a closet you know it wouldn't be great for a bedroom but maybe you have a closet in your house you can take and put on the inside because you're never going to be opening it you know from the inside so just a little tip to uh, make sure that your glass knobs are not loosening up and become a danger because it is dangerous. So that's it on this video. If you have any questions or comments about it, make sure and uh, post them in the comments section. We do work on a lot of these. Some people will say, well, you can just crimp it back down. Yeah, that's not so easy to do. Maybe, maybe you could. Um, I've never had luck with it, you know, crimping it back down like that, but it's just not a good idea. Unfortunately, we lose a lot of knobs due to this. If you're out shopping for knobs at one of those old house depot type places, when you, uh, when you see a pile of them, you want to go through them before you purchase them because you don't, okay, that screw. Yeah, we need to, to tend to some of these screws. This one's like stripped out. Um, but as you're picking them out or if you have them on your house, just go through and check and make sure if you have some that are twisting you want to make sure to you want to make sure to not use it as much as possible unfortunately you know you can't get this style this is a little bit different look than the common style that is still available but again err on the side of caution you don't want to use heavy use a knob like that um, because it is dangerous to use in many cases especially if you have a sticky door so see this one's this one's twisting too and that one's not so this one you would put on the you know the main side maybe put this in a closet or something uh, if you don't have any other recourse and you don't want to buy a new one you can buy those uh, you know the, the the cheaper the less expensive ones um, however, if you just really want to stick with it, you need to make sure when you're turning the knob that you grab it around the metal. Uh, otherwise, it'll just keep spinning and spinning. And you're never going to get in, so you get into the habit of maybe turning it by that. But if you have a sticky door, if it's hard to open, you're pulling, you're going to have a problem with them breaking. And it can be dangerous because that is glass, y'all, and it can stick up out of that. So if you have glass knobs on your house or if you're shopping for glass knobs, just make sure that they are not loose. Looks like out of this batch, we probably have two of them that are that way. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave it in the comment section.